This episode is brought to you by World Sun Ethiopia Tours, our travel partner in Ethiopia. Starting today a three days expedition to a very remote area of this planet. It's actually the hottest place on the planet and it's called the Gate to Hell. So exciting. The Denekil Depression is a 10,000 square kilometer plain lying in the north of Ethiopia, near the border with Eritrea. It is about 125 meters below sea level. It's also the hottest place on Earth, with a year-round average temperature of 34 degrees centigrade. The Denekil Depression lies at the triple junction of three tectonic plates and has a complex geological history. The result is an alien landscape with volcanoes, salt deserts, geysers and silver springs. Our three days expedition starts in the town of Mekele. Bag is yours, right? Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna put it there. We have a 9-hour drive to Erta Ale volcano. We stop for lunch and for the local kids to wonder about Alexandra's blonde hair. What's your name? Name? Alexandra. You? How? Selai. Selai? I love your hair. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> If you think we came to Ethiopia for Denekil, guess again. It's for the coffee. Here coffee is a religion. The locals drink up to five cups daily and most of the time they enjoy a unique ceremony which involves roasting the beans in front of them followed by grinding. The coffee is then boiled and the cups filled following a strict ritual. The ceremony may include burning of various traditional incense. Yeah. Oh, look at nice yeah, food we've right. got. Just to this fantasy of smart, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. Actually, we are, we are together until the volcano. So we drive for six hours from here. Actually, we are camping next to the volcano. Next to the volcano, like 600 meters far. We are, we are going to sleep outside under the sky. Until the Chinese will finish building the new road, we are enjoying this smooth one. Only after sunset we are reaching the Afar village on the volcano. 
Those are not allowing the tourists to drive with the cars close to the top of the mountain. <laughs> Smart move. We must leave the cars here and rent their camels to get our luggage to the top. <laughs> We have tomato soup here. Sotita from Kerpo. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. And we have vegetable, spinach with carrot. We have spaghetti with tomato sauce. There is no spicy. And we have dessert, orange and banana. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice dinner. You can start. Thank After a surprisingly good dinner for these conditions, we are starting our two hours trek. We will climb all the way to the crater and afterwards we will sleep under the sky. It's hard to get to Danakil, and you are allowed to go only as a part of an organized tour. The region is inhabited by the Afar population, different from the rest of the Ethiopians. In order to travel the long distances and the bumpy roads, you will need an off-road vehicle, and there is no way of traveling on your own. And it is also not allowed, because it can be dangerous. In 2012 and 2017, several tourists got killed by terrorists who came over the border from Eritrea. Now every group must be accompanied by an armed guard. And if you really want, these guides will give you some real gas masks, because the volcano... It smells awful. Yeah, even if it is a friendly volcano, it's still a volcano. That means it has a lot of, there are a lot of gases around. Erta Ale is one of the few touristic volcanoes of our planet. In his crater there is a permanent lake of lava. A very rare phenomenon, there are only eight such volcanoes on Earth. Its elevation of only 650 meter above sea level makes it easy to climb. The levels of toxic and suffocating gases are quite low, so here you've got the best conditions to get as close as possible to an active volcano. <coughs> Where is your mask? I need also your mask. You need my mask too. <coughs> Why? It's Halloween. It's Yesterday very... was Halloween. It's very strong though. <coughs> <laughs> smell of sulfur. You don't need a mask? No. Yeah, I'm dead already. <laughs> don't go. Alexandra? Alexandra? Even in the night, it's very warm. During the day, even if we are in the cold season, there are over 40 degrees centigrade. So honey, we have room number five. That's it. That's it, okay. They're giving away pajamas. Not bad. <laughs> We wake up at 5 a.m. in order to be again at the crater for the sunrise. Erta Ale's main crater has the nickname Gateway to Hell and is most of the time filled with molten lava. There have been stronger eruptions in 2005, 2007 and 2017, blocking the access to the top of the mountain for months. After a refreshing shower from a plastic bottle and an improvised toilet in the middle of the petrified lava, we are again in the cars. There is a long drive to the northern part of the Danakil depression. Orez, kulegumem, shkubukas de ananas. Ah, 
Mie mi-au pus și ceva ton în conservă. Mă rup cu capul nu ne-am gândit că o să mâncăm vreodată așa ceva. Bă, da, e bun, mă nu în condițiile astea. Nu vreau să știu cât am mâncat din lingura asta. The area is without rain for the most of the year. The only river dries up in a chain of salt lakes. We are in a surreal landscape where camel caravans are the only shadows of life in this desert of salt and sand. From time to time there are corpses of dead camels. No, it's definitely not the El Dorado, except maybe for tourists. For the people and the animals of this unearthly environment, everyday life is a struggle to survive. This is the worst work in the world, the hardest work. They arrive like around 7 here and they go back 4 p.m. So they sell it 5 up to 10 per here. For one block, they sell it 5 up to 10 per. But the owner of the cameras, they can sell it 30 up to 40 per in market. You got to look at it. Paradoxically, the area is often referred to as the cradle of humanity. In 1974, Donald Johansson and his colleagues found the famous Australopithecus fossil Lucy, which has been dated 3.2 million years old. It's really, we're speechless. It's so beautiful here. So it's the salt pan from the... Winter is here. <laughs> The tectonic plates of Africa and Asia are drifting apart exactly in this area and that's uh, causing a very intense geomorphological activity like um, uh, volcanoes, geysers and a lot of, a lot of uh, unique uh, stuff which uh, must uh, be seen at least once in a lifetime. Yeah, really, really. I love this country. Now, so you must, you must come here. Hmm? It's, it's now speechless. Le now let's go swimming. I'm like a tea bag. It's 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 some warm water, and I'm smelling like mint. Mm. So you can test me, baby. <laughs> and now it's time for some soccer. Ever heard of Haji, the famous Romanian player? Yeah, uh, he's not related to me. Tourism, the area is a gold mine. Well, a very salty one. We are preparing ourselves for the second night in the desert. At least today we have beds. Sort of. You can choose uh, between room with view to the desert and room with view to the desert. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do this. You have no choice, darling. <laughs> Yeah.
Ce fain a fost să trezești să fii în aer liber. Ești pe la ce somnă. 4 a.m. means nothing to us because today we are finally getting to Dalol, the incredible colorful sight. We are hurrying to be there at sunrise. Later it will be too hot. We are already used to have the armed guards around. The Eritrean border is only 20 kilometers away. The name Dalol was given by the Afar people and means dissolution or disintegration, describing a landscape of green acid ponds and iron oxide, sulfur and salt desert plains. It's a unique hydrothermal system known for its science fiction movie colors and mineral patterns. Small, widespread, temporary geysers produce cones of salt. The Delol deposits include significant bodies of potash found directly at the surface. Additionally, the area contains the Dalol sulfur springs or hot springs. After two days of not washing, except in the salt bath uh-huh. yesterday, yeah. Very used to. We're uh, finally at uh, most wanted for me to see Dalol uh, sulfur field. It's like in a dream. It's like in a dream. This lake we found smells also like medicine. Sorry, what is inside? What's the... It's a mixture of sulfur, magnesium, salt, water and iron. Okay, so, so it's can... good for skin medical. Yeah, we can swim. We should have enjoyed the magic of the places we have just visited. But there are always things who brings you back to reality. This 10-year-old child with big, innocent eyes instead of playing with his friends, is asking the tourists to clean their shoes for only 50 cent a pair. The 10 pairs of boots we offered him to clean, with tears in our eyes, made this day to be for him like Christmas and Easter in one. So sad, instead of uh, going to school, this kid has to clean shoes for money. After three days on a remote alien planet, we arrived back to Mekele. Ethiopia is more than just another country. It is a whole universe.